Hey team, it's Hero here. So here's Wu Chong Full and Feathers running FSR 3, no enhancements, just how the game looks straight out the uh, box on the handheld. Now check out the difference as we shift over with Optics Scalar enabled, the image instantly looks cleaner and crisper outlines and more defined textures. Now that's what the focus of today's video. We're going to explore exactly how to use Optics Scalar on both Windows and Bazite, what it means for handhelds like the Claw 8 AI. So here's the Optics Scalar GitHub project page. I'll drop the link down on the descriptions below if you want to check it out for yourself. In short, OptiScaler is a powerful open source tool that sits between your game and your display. It takes the raw input from the game and lets you transform into the resolution and sc scaling quality that you want to use. It actually supports three big features in terms of resolution scaling, frame generation and latency. Uh, today though, we're going to keep it simple. I'll show you how to enable OptiScaler and use it just for the scaling features. So to get started, I've downloaded the latest release of OptiScaler. At the time of this recording, the version is 0.7.9. The second file you want to download is called OptiPatcher. This isn't always required for every game, but it's really useful. Uh, what it does do is patch or spoof certain functions so OptiScaler can hook on properly. On the Intel Arc handhelds like the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus, it can make a di big difference in terms of getting the game to work or the game crashing on startup. So here you can quickly see the OptiScaler files have been extracted onto my Windows download folder. So inside Steam, right clicking on Wuchang, going to into the properties and browsing the install folder. Normally most games, you'll just drop all the extracted files we saw before into this folder by alongside the DLL files or the DX files. But because Wuchang is running on the Unreal Engine, we need to de dig a, dip, a little bit deeper to actually find the correct place to put the uh, files. So from the main Wuchang directory, I'm going to head into the game folder, binaries, and finally into Win64. Here's where the actual ex executable lives, along with the DX files, and this is the spot you'll copy all the OptiScaler files into to get Wuchang running. Now I've just taken the extracted OptiScaler contents, dropped them straight into Win64 folder that we just opened. Lastly, I'm going to create a new folder called Plugins, and this is where you drop the second file we downloaded, OptiPatcher. Now, once that's in place, we can start the setup. So, as part of setup, just use the default naming. Hit Y if it asks you to replace. Because we're either running an Intel or AMD chipset, we're going to hit 1 and then click Y when it asks you if you want to spoof uh, NVIDIA DLSS. And that's it. Now one more thing, before we jump straight into the game, OptiScaler has a shortcut menu that you need to bring up in game to actually use it. It's mapped to the insert key by default. Since hand handhelds don't exactly have that lying around, you'll want to remap something. So I've used the MSI Center to bind the shortcut to one of the back paddles, you can use whatever key that you want depending on the device that you use. All right, now we can finally launch the game. Once you're in, press the insert key or whatever button that you've assigned and the OptiScaler menu will pop up. On the MSI Claw 8 AI, you'll notice that it defaults straight to XSS automatically. And from here, you can tweak set, uh, the scaling settings to your liking. You'll also see options for frame generation, latency reduction inside the menu, but we'll save those for a dedicated video. For today, we're just sticking with scaling and, and we will managed to get it working. Now let's switch over to the MSI Claw A8. At the time, running on Bazite, this process here is a little different. First, we open up Deki Wizard menu. We'll need to use the Deki Frame Gen plugin. If you don't already have that, just grab that from the Wizard Marketplace. Once that's installed, Copy the patch command it gives you, then head straight into your Steam library, right click on the properties, and under the general tab, scroll down to the launch options, and this is where you want to paste them that command into. Just before we launch the game, again, open up the controller settings, change your shortcut to whatever you want to represent the insert key, and that's it. Let's launch the game. Just a quick note, if you don't see the extra toggle button showing up in the Steam controller settings on the Claw A8, 
open up handheld daemon, make sure the D input mode is toggled on. That will enable you to um, assign buttons to the back toggles. Once we're in Wuchang on the Claw A8, the first thing I want to show you is the advanced graphic menu. Sometimes OptiScaler doesn't hook straight away, so the trick is to toggle between the in-game scaling back and forth, and then you'll see OptiScaler grab on properly. From here, it's all about experimenting. So you can see me playing around with different scaling levels, dropping uh, between the uh, scaling options. So you can see this process is a bit more smooth there in Bazite than it is Windows, but the good thing is that we managed to get it working on both. What I love about this tool set is about the flexibility that it gives you. For handheld gaming, I think you need to find the balance between performance and visuals, which is important. And remember, we're just focusing on scaling today, but OptiScaler has frame generation and latency reduction as well. Um, so feel free to play with those, but I'll cover them probably in a future video. As always, if you find this useful, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps push the video out to more handheld fans. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more testing, um, everything from emulation setups to side-by-side -side comparisons on the latest handhelds. For now though, that's how you get OptiScaler up and running for both Windows and Bazite. It is a simple tweak that can completely change your experience. So definitely give it a try and see how far you can push your handheld. Let me know in the comments below what games you've tried it on and your results.